What up? What's up? What up? Here we go. What's good right. with it? We're back. Beers and bets, playoffs. <laughs> Brandon was playoff. Kung Fu fighting. Brandon yeah. beat the Kung Flu. I'm so, a champ. I am the champ. It. Yep. So I'm still recovering from I, COVID. I, you getting through it? This will be my Michael Jordan flu game. Oh, like MJ, I'll go. drink some beers Big too. Time. Yeah, yeah. He probably preferred some scotch. I'm there with cigar, you, man. But... And, and that last dance, he drank a lot of Miller Light. Yeah, yeah. He is well, a Miller you know, guy. You see, he's getting kind of puffy, you know. So yeah. he's probably trying to watch yeah, it as best that is he can. True, man. Yeah. I bet he gets a lot of shit for that too, man. He has to, right? MJ, like for gaining weight, yeah. like, they have to bust his balls like old teammates and shit. Yeah, like damn, uh, MJ. You... And then he just passes and he's like, yeah, yeah. right, because he is a yeah. little. But yeah. I think when you get six rings, you're allowed to do that. I don't know, man. Yeah, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, right. Best do basketball player want. ever. Yeah. All right, yeah. moving on. Okay, <laughs> super wild card weekend. There's six pretty good games. The yeah, one yeah. game, I've told you guys, I don't really like it, is the Steelers and Chiefs. You've been I don't high see the Steelers all year, though, man. That's weird I have that not. Into this one. Yeah, have not. shocking. Big Ben had a great career, but this season he's been crazy, pretty bad. A team that sucks is in the playoffs. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It usually happens every year. Usually, it's yeah. worse than this. Usually, there's one game that's like Texans and Raiders. And yeah, it's like freaking yeah, 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 yeah. Two quarterbacks yeah. that don't even deserve a. No, I thought it then. was crazy. I saw like the point differential. You know how many more you scored than let up. NFC, the top seven teams all made it. AFC, it's a clusterfuck. Like the top three made it, then like the Colts, you know, all these other teams that have been eliminated are sitting there with a much better point differential. Like the Steelers are negative. Uh, mm. Somebody else was, it's like a few of them are negative. It's just like, God, like these Raiders are negative as well. Yeah. It was just like, God, like they just find a way to win, you know? And yep. yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the it's NFL, crazy. man. It's fucking yeah. nuts. All right. So first game tomorrow. 3.30 on Saturday afternoon, Raiders at Bengals. Bengals are five-and-a-half-point favorites. I thought the number was a little bit big for the type of game I expect it to be. Uh, Brad, what's your pick on this one, Bengals and Raiders? I don't I go like with the an under. I thought you were going like to go with Bengals. an under first fucking no, no. game of the I, I like, I like the Bengals. <laughs> I, I, I know some people feel like it's a little too high, but um, – I mean, they handled them already. What was that week eleven when they played them and just destroyed they did. them? But it was um, right after Gruden got kind of right. all that shit went down. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, and and the thing I think too, it's just the Raiders. They're they're an exciting team. They're kind of the the hot team at the moment. I just think, uh, you know, you don't win that division like the Bengals did unless you're really playing good football. And I just the other funny part, I. I don't even know if this matters that much. And you guys maybe factor how much does weather matter? Cause cars Owen five and his team has never scored more than 17 points when the temperature is 37 or below it's What's guaranteed to be 37 or below. It's probably going to be like 33 and sunny. Like not, 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 that's brutal. not bad though. Not brutal. But again, like 37, you know, they, I'm, I don't know what side I pulled yeah. that off of, but it's just kind of makes you wonder. Yeah, that is. If it's thirty three degrees, I don't think that matters. I know, but, but the cutoff was thirty seven, so that means he's played in nicer weather, yeah. and he couldn't even put up seventeen. I'm trying to think, yeah, games in like Denver and Kansas City, I guess. I I just think Cincinnati is a pretty solid team defensively, and the Raiders aren't that hard to figure out. Yeah, what Raiders do, are just scrappy. Do, what they do, they do well, but. Yeah, yeah. it's not, Jimmy. not rocket science. Yeah. Jimmy, who do you got in this one? I like Bengals minus five and a half also. Really? Um, okay. It's kind of high, but I just, I think they are – I think they're five and a half points better than the Raiders. It, it's, it's 
early in Burrow's career, so you never know when, you know, a young quarterback goes into the playoffs for the first time or whatever. So that that is like a factor. Yeah. But and yeah, I just think Cincinnati's gonna be right. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a tough environment and I think they can win that game by five. Yeah. The Raiders are just tough though, man. So that is a I mean, that's a high yeah. line. That's like I, that's I what I surprised if that goes down before game time, but now we only have a day. So who knows? Because that I is, just don't Five I just, and a half in a playoff game. That's pretty yeah. high. I think it should be realistically like four and a half, maybe even four points even. And I do like the Bengals to win, but I think the Raiders keep it close enough. Plus five and a half. That's my pick. Uh, Max Crosby and Yannick and Gakwe. Shaky Bengals offensive line. That is kind of the weak spot of their team. So I expect Max Crosby to have a big day. Not make enough sacks and plays to win, but he'll make enough to keep the game close, force punts, force turnovers. Raiders plus five and a half. First there, pick a wild card week. Why do you why do you think Max Crosby's so good? I, I'm just curious. I mean, he he is. You well, am I you am I alone in this because, de- because pressure numbers, dude. It's not sack numbers, it's about pressure numbers. Right. He impacts plays as much as any other end in the league. So eight sacks. Yeah, that's I knew where you, I knew that's where you were going with that. You, that you does many, that you, that does Matt, not you know list the amount of pressure. He had a sack? You know how many games he actually had a sack in? Probably five. Four games. Four games. That's not an elite defensive yeah. end. Have you watched the Raiders defense? Personally, Max Crosby the, dominates the whoever's the blocking him every game. Trey Hendrickson and Sam Hubbard is better than Yannick Ngakwe and Max Crosby. The numbers don't lie. Look at the stats. Look at I mean, look at the sack numbers. Yeah, sack numbers is all you got. It Hendrickson's doesn't have pressure 14, numbers. Hubbard is Did you watch half. that Chargers Raiders game last week? Max Crosby probably had one, maybe two sacks. He was back there every single play, fucking shit up. Did you not watch that game? You're not elite if you don't finish. Really? So a pressure that forces an incompletion on third down, it's as good of a sack, but it's not. Do, do because they, it's do not they keep the track sheet? of a record for uh, most quarterback pressures? I'm not sure. Or do we talk about sacks? We talk well, about the sack record. Yeah, I, well, so oh, you're so you influenced on records and stats. Pressure, but uh, had, if you – you never answered my question. Did you watch the Raiders-Chargers game where he was back yes. there every single play? I, hey, I'm, I'm not saying he's yeah. bad. I just It impacted the game significantly. So, like, overhyped in your head, I think, a little I'm bit. I'm not alone on this opinion. Like even yeah. Chris Long, an ex-defensive end, played the same position. See, oh, Max Crosby that's, is that's his favorite what's dude. Your head there, Chris Long, your boy. He's not the only one that says it either. Max Crosby, it's I'm not alone in this opinion. Right. He's a great end. He made the Pro Bowl for a reason. He had eight sacks and made the Pro Bowl because people recognize that he is a very good player. Can we move on? Yeah. Sure. There? All right. I think that was fun. I Patriots like at Bills. Bills are favored by four and a half. This is the Saturday night game at 715. Over under is set at 44. Jimmy, who do you got? I'm sick of hearing from Brad right now. <laughs> I like the uh, Patriots plus four and a half. Okay. I know the Pats weather's keep supposed it close. to be shitty there. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be shitty there. And just Bill Belichick in playoff games, man. I don't see him getting blown out. So even if they lose, I think that four and a half is – Definitely, that's doable to stay with. Fair, them. you yeah. like the Bills to you like the Bills to win most likely, but Pat's keep it close. The Patriots. I have this for a thing we have later. So uh, okay, yeah. okay, fair yeah. enough. I like the Patriots in that game. All right, Brad, what's your pick? <clears throat> I'm taking Buffalo in the points. I think they're trending in the right way. New England's kind of trending the wrong way. You know, yeah, you know, it has New England, been that they've, way. Lost, they've lost three of their last four, and they just lost to a Miami team that fired their head coach. And Tua could barely throw for 100 yards against them. Um, I know the weather is supposed to be like minus four or six or something crazy again. But without that wind and Mm -hmm. snow, I don't know how much it really affects Josh Allen as much as it did last time. And I kind of am piggybacking on Jimmy's point where you never know with the rookie quarterback in the playoffs. It's kind of that same thing with Mac Jones. You know, if Buffalo gets ahead, does he have the ability to – bring them back yeah and if that's the case i don't think he can do that like we saw that happen when they played the colts like they weren't able to come you know they yeah they got close against the colts to climb and back from a big lead but to come Mm -hmm. back like that really yep they don't have that offense yet yeah i think this is probably the best game of the 
this whole weekend. Yeah, this personally. Is, I mean, both these there. teams have a pretty good amount of playoff experience, you know, in the last couple of years. Yeah. I just and they don't like each other, man. Mm-hmm. Buffalo's gonna be fucking rocking. The rubber game. match. That's Round my three. big point is this be being cool, a Buffalo man. home game because Buffalo did have home games last year, but no fans. So those Buffalo yeah, fans right. are gonna be dude, fucking bro. ready fucking to go, yeah. especially when the Patriots are coming in there for yeah, a first dude, round playoff game. Fucking playoff game. It's and, gonna and be just, wild. And that is yeah. the night game, right? Yep, it is the so night they game. All yeah, day all day game. Yeah. All oh, fucked up, dude. Orchard Park is gonna be going crazy. What's the percentage of tailgaters that don't even make it into the stadium yeah, oh, on saturday i think if you got a ticket you're getting in there though because yeah be in there, somebody will wake you up or carry you yeah, and do whatever better. they, they probably have like yeah. golf carts that just drive yeah, the people like, that can't walk they're just like people going through like looking for yeah. people passed out like giving them like, a <laughs> yeah. sprite or some shit like water like, yeah red bull come on we we, we need you yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah passing out that, adderall that was my big thing it was with the bills getting a home playoff game with a packed stadium i like the bills to cover the four and a half I think the Bills defense has a big day. I just the Mac Jones had an impressive season, but I don't think he's ready to like get it done in the circumstances where the Bills they're not going to get run over like they did that one night in the win. They solved that problem the second time the Pats and Bills played. So Mac Jones yeah. is going to be forced to make plays and I just don't think he's quite there yet where he can go into Buffalo and win as a rookie. So I agree. Bills You kind of see him uh, unleash Josh Allen more too. I don't yeah. know if you've watched a lot of scripted run plays yeah Yeah. certainly especially on the big plays like the third and shorts fourth downs they just say josh take the ball and fucking run some people over just run some power they don't have fucking running backs they finally figured it out they're like all right this is all we got like let's just he's twice as good as our first string running back (laughs) i know he's white but geez let him run the ball all right moving on to sunday uh my game eagles at bucks Bucks are eight and a half point favorites, which is way too much to yeah. be just for real about it. I wouldn't bet the Bucks to cover that number. Um, and my pick for this game is just okay. over 45 and a half. The Bucks are good for 30 points. That leaves the Eagles to score another 16. The Bucks have scored at least 30 in seven out of eight games in Tampa Bay this year. So, and there's they've scored 40 a handful of times this year. So the Bucks get 30. Eagles are good for 16 points against the Bucks defense that is still missing pieces. They'll probably be without Levante tomorrow. And I like this game to go over 45 and a half. It's fucking great these games are tomorrow. Like we're, you know, yeah. we don't normally do the podcast on Friday. So it's real fun to be like, God, we're already here. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna wait for the days. juices are flowing. That yeah. might have been why well, me and Brad well, got into it. It's like this well, game's and, tomorrow, and, man. Well, we got to get everything days, we got to say. And to get three days of football too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then yeah. I could go without the Monday nighter, but I'll, you know, it's all right. I'd I rather have. Too, but as a fan, I like it for like impartiality. It's kind of bullshit. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't really line up with the whole idea of like why they schedule games. Well, why there's no Monday night game the final mm-hmm. week of the season, like all that shit, yeah. like because it gives up exactly. It kind of defeats that whole purpose, then, right? Yeah, yeah like if you don't have a if you don't have a week eighteen Monday night football game, how do you convince yourself that right. it's not an unfair advantage that some team has a Monday exactly. night first round playoff? Yeah, right. Man, no man and cast agreed to do the game, so they're like, "Fuck it, we're doing a Monday." Isn't night. it fucking? It's the uh, all right. It's the Rams. Rams yeah, Cardinals. Yeah. Why, man? Yeah. It's the fucking Rams. Everyone. Yeah. Cronky bucked up. Yeah, Cronky was probably like, "Yeah, sign, I'll sign it. Whatever you got to say. Yeah, whatever I got to say." The the <laughs> you write in the amount. People are gonna yeah. come to the stadium. All right, that's fine, dude. I don't even care. He probably doesn't care. There's probably gonna be more Cardinal fans than Rams fans there. Yeah, yeah, like that'll be a week. good yep. amount of Cardinals fans, I'm sure. Yep, that'll be that's gonna be an expensive ticket. That might be the most like weekend. That's probably the most expensive weekend ticket. For football this week is that yeah. Rams Cardinals game? Might be one of the higher like Dallas. Dallas, more, Dallas would be really. I, I was gonna say too. or j- just Kansas City. They go crazy. I think yeah. just their and fans Pittsburgh alone will jack the well. prices up. Yeah, and Pittsburgh okay. travels well. Yeah, that, that chance one. to see Ben's last game possibly, most yeah. likely. I just, you got to think about like the actual consumer too, though. And in LA, people are just have loads of money to throw around they'll yeah. spend yeah more many options thousands though, of dollars to spend their money to. too though just a bitch yeah. there too to get not in and out of that stadium like the tra- I, i've heard it's like not a very fun like it's not really 
it's not in LA. I yeah. mean, it's in Inglewood. So it's like a little. All right. Outside. So right now the highest price ticket is Dallas tickets are starting as low as one thirty one. Tampa is the next highest at one twenty. Wow. Oh, Cincy, Cincy, I'm sorry. I've scrolled right. Cincy is the highest at 132 a ticket. That's the lowest <laughs> ticket right yeah, now. Cincinnati gonna is going to be going We haven't crazy. been in the, we haven't won a playoff game in yeah, 30 91. years. Yeah. Cell phone. Like, what, yeah, yeah. what's that stat that Mo had, dude? Like the last time. Nobody the, had sent a text message. There's yeah. never been a text message sent when the bang, about a Bengals playoff win because texting yeah. wasn't invented until like 91 or 92. Yeah. So they've never. There's never been a text message like sent from someone to somebody else saying, hey, the Bengals won the playoff. You know what I mean? It's like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, the Ravens yeah. were never the Ravens yet. They were still the Browns, the new <laughs> expansion Browns had never been invented. Yeah, it's all kinds of yeah, shit. Yeah, there was, yeah, that was pretty fucking nuts. But that I is mean, funny that they're paying. Yeah, that place is going to be rocking yeah, then, dude. 132. Yeah. Damn. Let's go okay. to it, man. I'm going the, cheapest ticket, me- the cheapest ticket, surprisingly, is Buffalo at 45 bucks. That is shocking. Where do you get to sit on the tables in the tailgate zone? Yeah, yeah. What, what, I'm like 45. Yeah. 45. That's yeah. Hey, that's got to be not legitimate. That is though. fucked up, man. Yeah. yeah this I, this is all through Vivid Seats. Yeah. So you can get forty four dollars each, two tickets for upper level three twenty three, row thirty three. Damn. Yeah. I don't know how. That's not bad. Okay. Dude. Shit. All right. Not good, at all. Good little tangent. Back to the Eagles Bucks game. Yep. I got the Bucks and the Eagles over 45 and a half. Uh, Brad, what do you got for this game? Oh. I'm going Philly. I like the eight and a half. Bad pick. I, I, I mean, obviously, yeah, here we go again. Um, <laughs> no, honestly, I like the over. I just didn't want to agree with you. Uh, Philly's covered like three of five. Tampa four or five, but I just think Philadelphia is a tough team for you to, you guys to deal with. I mean, Mike Evans is back. Great. But you also had Mike Evans, Godwin and a B last time you guys played barely beat them. Still a close game. Yeah. 28, 22. But the, the point I'm getting to is Darius Slay kind of owns Mike Evans. He held them to two for 27. The last two times before that, he went 10 for 83. Not great, but still not a big play anywhere in there. And the time before that, two for 25. So it's just, I think that that Philly defense is deeper than people give him credit for just because you don't know the names outside of Fletcher Cox. Yeah. And I just think the depth of Tampa, unless playoff Lenny shows up and just totes the rock and then they're in trouble. But if if Tam if Tom's going to have to sit back there and throw 47 times like they did last game, I think Philly wins that game. Yeah, I don't see it going that way. Uh, and Philly does from every all the reading and tape I've watched. They play all zone defense. Yes. They allow the short pass over the middle. What does Brady do the best? Find an open guy over the middle to throw a short pass to to keep the chains moving. So the Bucks are going to move the ball. It might not be through Mike well, Evans. Well, that was kind of how they – that's kind of how they did it last time yeah. they played too. You know, I, I think they held – I mean, the time of possession was crazy. I think I, you had the ball two thirds of the time. I think they had twenty minutes with mm-hmm. the ball. Yeah. What week was that? Uh, this was like mid season, maybe nine, 11, eleven, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Week six. But, week six. Week six. So what? I think what wins this game for the Bucks is the defense. I just don't think the Eagles have enough even to really like attack even a wounded Bucks defense. Uh, even yeah. if no Levante probably won't play tomorrow, the Bucks defense has come along the last few weeks. Um, even with the injuries, some young players have stepped up, especially in the secondary. So I do, I think the Bucks make enough sacks and turnovers to kind of get up by two scores. Philly could creep back, back in late, just like they did in the regular season game and cover that eight and a half. But I like the Bucks to get out of there with a win. Jimmy, what do you feel about this? A lot of history in the these two teams. Yeah, I know. In the playoffs, I was thinking man. about that, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't like that color of green you're that, wearing. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like the shirt you're wearing. Um, yeah, dude. I like the Eagles to stay within eight and a half. Fair enough. I think that's pretty high. A bad for a pick. Game. But you're entitled to make bad yeah, picks. Yeah, I just don't see it. I don't know, man. I, without like all those weapons. 
for the Bucks, man. It's just like to blow them out that bad. And the Eagles are trending in the right direction. Like they they're running the ball better or as good as anybody yeah. in the league. So they they can they can keep Brady off the field. And you got the mobile quarterback. That's always just a pain in the ass when you're running the ball well. Then you get the play action going and you can bootleg it out and all that shit. So and I think the Eagles are just exciting to watch. So yeah, I, I'll go with them. Um I'll go Eagles plus eight and a half. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, let's move on to – this is my favorite game of the weekend. Brad, you mentioned yours was Pat's Bills, which is a strong candidate. I like 49ers-Cowboys. I'm really excited to see how this game shakes out. Uh, Cowboys are favored by three at home. I hope both these teams fucking show. Over-unders at 51, super high over-under. Brad, I'll start with you. Are you going on that under 51? Is that too high? No, I'm – I've kind of – trusted Dallas all year I feel like even though I hate myself for doing it I keep hyping up the Cowboys because they deserve it um I'm taking the three Dallas is 13 and four against the spread this year so if Dan Quinn gets hired by like the Broncos or somebody Mm, don't even say that no no no. I don't want that I'm just saying I wonder (laughs) I wonder if he'll just leave in the playoffs like the college coaches do and be like you know what fuck it I'm gonna go I I think they get paid well enough in the NFL no I know man I was just joking yeah but yeah Dan Quinn oh he's been been great for them though he's been a huge that defense has been awesome this year yeah they have well, and the, I think the big thing, too, is once they got Demarcus Lawrence back, it let him move Micah Parsons back to linebacker. And so that'll be an interesting match, but seeing Parsons on George Kittle, seeing how that goes, yeah, that you know, because, you know, they kind of both do it all. They both, you know, Kittle blocks well, Kittle's Parsons, yeah. you know, covers the pass pretty well. I mean, this is probably the most classic, like, matchup. You know, we haven't seen it a much in our lifetime. Was- Chiefs but, Steelers is another one, yeah. but yeah, yeah, this one you know, is like so. Because the Chiefs were never that good for so long, like they were not right. great ever. So, but so like Chiefs Steelers, they haven't really. I, they they played a few years back. I think Alex Smith and I think Roethlisberger went in there and beat them in the playoffs. Yeah. It's but, two like classic teams, but it's not like a right. classic playoff matchup. No, dude, they though. haven't really yeah. played. Yeah, Niners yeah. Cowboys. Well, and that's my point in our life. You know what? Because it's I did. It's like the second most you know, that two teams have ever played in the postseason. Yeah. Like, I think there's a lot of pressure on Dallas, though. Like, I'm picking them. But, you know, they haven't got past the division round since 95. What was your pick? He's Dallas got Dallas and, minus Dallas and the points. Okay. Yeah. Minus three. Jimmy, what yeah. do you got for this? Yeah, because it's fucking – I got to go Dallas minus three also. And I'm skeptical. I just – what I want in this game, man, to be honest, because it, it has potential to be a really fun game, is just them both to show up and not have one. I don't want to have some bullshit, like two turnovers in the first quarter, yeah. and then it's like 21-0. Well, yeah. well, or hopefully Jimmy G stays healthy. That's that, another, that that's really another thing things. that I was thinking, though. You know yeah, I mean? like that, too. It, I, I want it to just be a good playoff game. You know what I mean? Yep. So, yeah. Hopefully. Because that if it's not, dude, that makes the Sunday games outside of the early one with the Bucks eagles then we would get the Steelers and Chiefs after that. Yeah, yeah like Sunday could be a shit day. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, kind of that, a If this game, game doesn't honestly. come through, it could be a shit day. Yeah. 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 And I'm hoping that, it, you know, I want it to be a fun one. But Well, both these coaches kind of need this win, though, too. McCarthy and Shanahan. Yeah. yeah. I, McCarthy, I think you know, Shanahan's like, safe for at least another Oh, I'm two not saying either of them are going to get fired, yeah. but it's just for their legacy – too it's just like two years is a long time man one That's of them's gonna be known anybody. like gonna start getting that playoff loser tag on him i think shanahan already has it marked on his fucking forehead and everyone knows it man he's walking around, he's walking around like one of those dudes from uh from uh inglorious bastard he wasn't the head coach, yeah though. i know, you know, you know what what so, so yeah 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 it just says a big l on his fucking yeah, yeah the smash mouth song we'll man. see well I, but yeah, right. yeah. I hope they show up, but I'll take the yeah, I'll take Cowboys okay. minus. Three. So you guys are both on Dallas. I have the 49ers plus three in this game. I do I like what you said about the Dallas defense, Brad, and it has been much better this year. But I think the 49ers have a way of like between Shanahan and Debo and Kittle, they have a way of scheming up some like just explosive plays throughout yeah. every game. Like every Very time good. the Niners are on. You know, there's a 40 yard play, 50 yard touchdown to Debo again. Coming you know, around call, the holy edge. fuck. Like, why is Debo uncovered again? Yeah. They do they do weird things. 
to make big plays on offense. And so as good as the Dallas defense is, maybe uh, what's his name? Trayvon Diggs gets caught trying to jump a pass and they hit one deep to Debo a time or two. It could. Sunday, it just comes know? down to me though, too. Do you really think San Francisco's secondary can stop the Cowboys? Attack? No, no, I mean, Josh, but they Josh could slow Gordon him down. Their number two receiver or yeah. number two corner right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he should not be starting in anybody's lineup that's in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, that is really bad, dude. That was like when. Uh, that's um, why we got ri- rid of Richard Sherman because no, that's you what didn't it get rid been. of him. He kept getting hurt, so you made him into like a bullshit coach. He was there to be a coach him. from the get go, man. He was Whatever. he was there because he was our like we had Whatever. been through our when top he's six healthy, corners. He plays. Yeah, we we signed him as our like after our first four or five corners have gotten hurt. We didn't mm-hmm. sign him because he was like some big addition. That was very he's, clear when the signing was made. He was there to fill in for injured players. The injured players are back. Now. He has no spot. He's got a podcast, he's, you know that? But, yeah, up like Josh Williams. Norman, Richard yeah. Sherman, they were good at one point. They're no longer good. It sucks if you have them on your starting roster. Yeah. That yeah. point's fair. Yeah, that is a scary thought that he's out there. I think he had a couple of forced fumbles or something this year, though. Um, Norman, I think he may have had. Yeah, like I mean, like physically, I would, you know, I trust him as a tackler. It's just I don't trust yeah, him matching yeah, up against CD Lamb. Yeah. And yeah. even I know Gallup towards ACL, but uh what is it? Cedric Wilson, that little number yeah, one. Yeah, he's good. He looked yeah. really explosive too. That it's just the tight they, end's good. They, they, they still got Amari. Yeah. yeah. A lot of weapons there. Yeah, they do. Definitely. Okay. I do we squeeze this one more game in here before the break? Steelers and Chiefs. It's up to you, man. Seven minutes. I say we do it. I say we do yeah, it. Yeah. We can Steelers do at Chiefs. Chiefs are minus 13. This is the Sunday night game. I'll get my pick out of the way real quick, and then we can just talk about whatever the hell else about this game. But the Chiefs minus 13 is the easiest bet of the weekend. This game's a blowout. I also like the under 46. I'd be surprised if the Steelers score more than 13 points. Big Ben's arm is shot. Uh, the Steelers, Steelers on offense aren't going to be able to do anything tomorrow. And that sucks to say against the Chiefs defense that we made fun of like eight weeks ago. So, yeah, no, they turned it around. Even Brad, you know, if you're honest with yourself, you know that Baltimore defense that the Steelers played last week was beaten up and torn to shreds. Everybody else was killing the Baltimore defense. The Steelers come in, score 13 oh, points I, in I, regulation, I, right? I don't consider them a real threat. It's almost like it was like a courtesy game to get Ben one more time in a Steelers uniform. Yeah. I, I, you know, he's saying all the right things before the game. He's, you know, playing it off like he's just enjoying it and whatever. But, you know, he wants to win. Um, fucking anything. You know, it's, it's not, what was it, week 16 that, I mean, Kansas City beat the shit out of him 36 to 10. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was with no Travis Kelsey in that game. And Tyreek, obviously Tyreek got shut down. Tyreek needed to play like till halftime because that helped Jimmy win the fantasy football championship, dude. Because the Steelers were getting their asses kicked so bad. They were like, Tyreek, yeah, Yeah. we don't don't even need you anymore, Tyreek. We just got Byron Pringle and Miko Hardman out here just fucking ripping them apart. Because every throw, I was like, fuck, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, yeah, that's that's funny. I forgot about that one. But I really do think I'm taking. I hate to say it, but Kansas City as well, because Pittsburgh's defense is not good. Yeah, J.J. Watt's fun and exciting, and Minka Fitzpatrick makes plays, but T.J., sorry, the fucking real creative parents, T.J., J.J. But Pittsburgh's defense, they're the first team in the last 15 years to be last in the league to, like, allow the most rush yards per game and reach the postseason or even have a winning record. They're giving up 146 on the ground. I mean, it's just there. I don't. I don't see Mahomes will just dump it off to Darrell Williams and Kelsey and uh, Bell, all the Pringle, all these weird dudes that just you know make up yards. I tall task for Pittsburgh. Yeah, it is. it's a shitty. It's a shitty. Um, yeah. Oh, so, Brad, you're minus. You're you got Chiefs minus I'm, I'm thirteen copying too. You. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, do you well, see it any different? They've won by that much or more, like six or seven times this year. Yeah. 
which is which probably most of those games were probably in the last you know half of the season because early in the season Kansas City couldn't yeah they beat anybody kind of and even the shitty teams they couldn't cover a spread for shit yeah they weren't winning by so. a lot yeah that's true I go uh, Pittsburgh plus thirteen okay just and a feeling yeah oh uh, yeah I just think that again then playoff games that's a fucking big spread for a play I don't care what teams and if you have it's been the highest Pittsburgh, spread ever. For is a playoff it, game. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty Highest nuts. spread ever for a playoff game. Wasn't the Super Bowl when the Rams played? We were like 14 point favorites. But that no, was I think it was like, I think it was like eight or nine, though. No, no, it was like a two day. touchdown. No, we were like, no, like 14, you, man. you got bad research somewhere because I've heard about this no, before. No, I've heard this before. And they weren't favored like by two biggest. touchdowns. It was per ESPN that I saw it. So um, this was the 2003 Super Bowl. Yeah. Yep. Now, while you no, guys are looking, I, I will no, say this one will be of the, 2001. One of the that's right. The big that's one right. of the big things too. I will is Travis Kelsey healthy, which they it didn't was have to Rams last minus time. 14. Yeah, yeah. I told you my research is off. Get fucked. I'm the trivia master. Um, oh, but Kelsey's, that should have been a question. That would have been a good one, yeah. man. Kelsey's. I thought that's odd. I've heard that a million times, but that's a huge fucking. Just a huge number, man. To like, How do you like, get favored by two touchdowns in the Super Bowl? That's what like they favor yeah, the Bills know, to beat dude, the Jets by now. It, well, and like that might be team. why why they worded it as playoffs and not Super Bowl, right? Too. You know, what yeah, I mean? dude. But, that's why I was asking. That's why I brought it up because I was like, oh, that might yeah. be in the playoffs, not in. The but playoffs. it is, I, man. If if you had fantasy this week, Jimmy Kelsey, I I take the over on everything he has: touchdown catches, yards, longest catch. I I think he goes crazy this week. Yeah, I'm hoping not crazy enough that it's not more than 13 because I think they can. No, probably like 23 or maybe like 26, like the time they played in week 16. All right. So that covers that. That's the weekend of football. And then they throw one more game at us Monday night, which is Cardinals at Rams. Let's take a quick break. We'll talk Cardinals, Rams, and then we'll go down all the other bets. Um, We'll go through our playoff bracket real quick. The lock of the week dog of the week for wild card weekend and then some first touchdown bets right on right on. all right we'll see y'all in a minute hell yeah